Welcome to the VIP Masterclass Series. I'm Josh Wright, and today's episode is requested by David, and he had asked about <clears throat> the Chopin Etude, Opus 25, Number 6, Double Thirds Etude. <laughs> which is super hard. I've actually been working a lot to get those uh, better. And he had asked in particular about this passage. So we're gonna go over that. I wanna recommend two books. Um, I like Paderewski edition. I just like the layout of it. I like the number measure, or the, measure numbers in it. I like uh, the editorial markings in it. I think they've done a really nice job with that. Not a huge fan of the Ekier edition, which is the newest one that the International Chopin Competition recommends. Um, but that's this is a pretty good edition. The only bad thing is sometimes the Paderewski fingerings are a little strange. So that's the one drawback. For fingerings, I would absolutely uh, look at this. In preparation for doing the pro practice videos I'm going to be doing on this and as well as Opus 10 number 2, I've been looking through this Quarteau edition and these are just unbelievable editions because, I mean, just on this page alone, he gives you A, B, C, D, E, F, F, G. F is very similar between the two. It gives you so many different fingerings. So we'll go over that today and uh, give special emphasis on this passage as well. I kind of have a unique way of doing that that Babayan uh, taught me, which is really fun. I want to go over some basics for those in the group who may not be too advanced with thirds. Um, the big thing that makes thirds tough is the fact that you have the coordination of two fingers being perfectly together with the next ones being perfectly together. And what can often happen is your fingers kind of collapse and start doing that versus. And for me, it's pathetic, but that's kind of my top speed with that fingering. I've used an inverted fingering, so let me give you a couple of different options here. You can do three, two, five, one, three, two, five, one. That was taught to me by a friend at one of Babayan's academies. She was one of his long-term students, and she said, oh, I can't do the 3152 either. She's like, and she was amazing, so that made me feel better about it. And um, she said, I do this 3251. And I sound pretty good on that, um, but there was a girl at Michigan who, oh my gosh, she could just play this piece like the wind. and. Um, my teacher kind of taunted me because he knew that he we, we had a great relationship but he knew that that really bugged me that I couldn't play that so he said I don't even remember her name um, he said will you play this piece and she said yeah yeah sure and she just flew through the whole thing and he said Josh what do you think about that and I was just like gosh dang it so uh, realize that every pianist has difficulties and uh, and unique difficulties for me it's thirds but that's not so unique. I'd say that like 90% of pianists struggle with thirds. There's some people that just get it. I'm gonna show you some ways today to get better at thirds and I'm gonna give you specific fingerings for that passage, David. Um, so the fingering that that girl, uh, she was Korean, she said four, two, five, one. And I originally thought, ooh, I don't like four, five trills, but after practicing like that or and, and I'll, what I'll do is I'll go back and forth between three different fingerings. Three, two, four, one. That's really awkward. And then three, two, five, one. And then four, two, five, one. And that one feels the best. And I think of just rocking kind of forward with my four, two. The way I get out of this fingering is I go four two five one four two three one four two five two or sorry four one five two three one four two. So let me do that again. So you're doing if you're doing the four two five ones coming out of that to get into this stuff, 
there's a unique way to get out of that. You do 4 2 5 1, 4 2 3 1, okay? And then 4 1, 5 2, 3 1, 4 2. 3 1, 5 2, 3 1, 4 2. 3 1, 5 2, 3 1, 4 2. That's the fingering that I want to end up with. And again, I would highly recommend buying the Cortot edition because it gives you so many different fingerings. And he even prefaces it saying, um, like, in order to facilitate the selection of the fingering most suitable to the physical convenience of each student, we have drawn up for the most characteristic passages of this composition a table of various combinations which are equally advisable to render their quick aerial fitting, or flitting almost impalpable character. And one of the people I would highly recommend listening to is Joseph Levine. His is unbelievable. I think probably the best recording out there. I love Daniel Trifonov's as well, but um, Joseph Levine, it just sounds like he... It sounds like that. I mean, and he's doing it with one hand. Mine almost is there, but it's not... Um, it's not clean enough, and I can't, I can't <laughs> render that passage. Um, I, I, maybe I could get that passage, but doing, you know, that passage we're about to go over, so difficult. I want to give you the fingering that Bob Ayan gave me, first of all, uh, in that passage, David. So five, three, four, two. Thank you so much for watching. I've listed two links in the description below. One of them is to download this full video that you've just watched the sample for. The other is to view the entire library of VIP Masterclass series videos. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great week. Good luck in your practice sessions.